Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today is September 13th, 2020 and as you may know there are a historic number of wildfires burning on the west coast of the United States all across Washington, Oregon, California, and Idaho. I've heard that these multi-state fires have burned over 4.6 million acres uh, spread out over about you know 94 major blazes. Luckily, I'm not in an area that's been under any evacuation orders. We're actually not too close to any of the fires. Um, however, the air quality across the entire state of Washington has been at unprecedented, unhealthy levels due to all the smoke uh, from the fire. So for the last several days, it seems like everywhere you go, that looks like there's just this perpetual brownish fog hanging around. I mean, the air quality's gotten so bad that um, I think the city of Seattle, actually the parks department, um, they actually uh, closed all of the beaches, boat ramps, parks, and play fields. And uh, I heard they're actually, they're not issuing citations, but I guess they're strongly encouraging everyone to uh, avoid outdoor activities and remain inside um, if they're able to until the air quality improves. So I wanted to capture some aerial footage of what it looks like in these conditions. In case you're interested, uh, I'm flying an older DJI Phantom 3 Professional. Uh, I believe these first came out, I guess, gosh, over five years ago in April 2015. So I guess it makes this uh, pretty ancient in terms of technology, but this means you can find used ones for a pretty good deal. So I've had my unit for about a year and it's been on my list to do a more in-depth review of the drone, but in a nutshell, I really enjoy it. It can shoot in, uh, it can shoot video in 4K, but really, you know, who wants to deal with post-processing 4K video? Um, what you're looking at right now was shot natively in um, 1920 by 1080, uh, so full HD at 60 frames per second, and this perfectly suits my needs. So anyway, I think I'm getting off on a little bit of a tangent, um, so let's get back to talking about the current video. As a bit of a local tour, what you're looking at right now is uh, Rich Passage, which is a major maritime thoroughfare for traffic in and out of Bremerton. Um, you can regularly see the Seattle Bremerton Ferry going through here, and since the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard is also located in Bremerton, sometimes you know, you'll even see a huge aircraft carrier going through here, which is a, a real treat. Now, normally on a clear day, you can easily see from this location all the way to Mount Rainier with no problems, which is, you know, that's at least 70 miles. Um, but today, you know, I can't even see a half mile. Anyway, the air quality is supposed to improve this week, so I just wanted to document and grab some footage to show what is hopefully the worst case scenario in this situation. The silver lining, or perhaps I guess you should say the uh, the brown lining, is that these uh, atmospheric conditions actually make for some interesting sunsets. So the sun actually is this unique orangish brown hue as you can see here. And it makes for some interesting photos which I wanted to share with you because hopefully I won't get a chance to take these kind of photos again anytime in the near future. All right, so we're coming in for a landing. Uh, the Phantom 3, actually, it's got a real good return to home and auto land uh, functionality, but most of the time, I actually prefer to land it manually. I feel like it just gives me a little bit more uh, finer grain control of where it'll actually touch down. Anyway, I hope everyone's being safe out there in these uncertain times. Uh, to quote a song by the Kinks, I know that better things are on the way, so let's all get through this together, and I'll catch you at a future video. Bye.